Hello friends. Now we will deduce the relation between enthalpy change and internal energy change for a gaseous reaction. From the definition of enthalpy, we know that H equal to U plus PV. Now, H is enthalpy of the system, U is the internal energy of the system, P pressure of the system and V volume of the system. Now, small change of H that is dH is equal to du plus d of pv or dH equal to du plus pdv plus vd actually d of pv is equal to P into dV plus V into dP. Now, when pressure and temperature remain constant, we can write dH at constant pressure and temperature equal to du plus PdV because since dp is equal to 0, vdp equal to 0. That means the equation becomes dh constant pressure and temperature equal to du plus pdv. That is at constant pressure and temperature small change of enthalpy is equal to small change of internal energy plus pressure into small change of volume. Now, if the change is finite, in place of D, we can write delta. Delta H at constant pressure temperature equal to delta U plus P delta V. This is a general relation between delta H, delta U and volume change and pressure. Now, for a gaseous reaction, for a gaseous reaction, For a gaseous reaction, we know that PV equal to nRT. If for the reaction volume change is delta V and number of moles change is delta N and pressure and temperature remain constant, we can write P delta V equal to delta N RT. Now, what is delta V? Delta V equal to volume of products, volume change delta V equal to volume of products minus volume of reactant. and change in mole number is equal to number of moles of products minus number of moles of reactants. So, we can write in place of P delta V, delta N RT and the equation become
delta h equal to delta u plus delta n rt. Mind it, this equation is valid only for gaseous reaction. Let us consider a problem. If delta H equal to minus 200 kJ mole inverse, temperature is 27 sorry temperature is 27 degree c and find delta u for which reaction let the reaction is co plus half o2 u now mind it the temperature is in celsius scale so at first we convert it into Kelvin scale. This is 27 plus 273. That is 300 Kelvin. And delta H, we write the equation. Delta H equal to delta U plus delta NRT. Delta H is minus 200. Delta U, we have to calculate. Delta N, what is delta N? Delta N is the change in number of moles of product minus number of moles of reactant. Here, the number of moles of product is 1 and number of moles of reactant is 1 plus half. That is, delta N is 1 minus 1 and half. 1 minus 1 and half is minus half. R since the value is in kilojoule, R in joule is 8.314. It is divided by 1000. So it is converted into joule. And T is 300. So the value of delta U is equal to minus 200 plus half into 8.314 divided by 1000 into 300. So Delta U is equal to minus 198.7529 joules. Thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net